In this video, we will learn to work with maps. Maps can be very customizable with spatial files, but we won't be going through that. Today, we will be creating simple maps. Let's first start with some basics. First, to create a map chart, we will need data with geographic row. So Tableau creates the map based on longitude and latitude coordinates. So when we have, for example, data that is a location, Tableau recognize it as a geographic row. So we see over here, this we have country, state, city. These are location data. So we see that Tableau recognizes it as a geographic row with this globe icon beside this field. So how do we use this? We simply have to double click on this. And we see that Tableau automatically generates a longitude and latitude based on the location. So let's take a look at another data set. Here we have data set that has the latitude and longitude. So we can use these columns to also create our map. So what we have to do is just to place them into the column and row shelf. So we see all these points here, they are plotted based on the longitude and latitude coordinates we have in the data. Now let's go back to our previous data set and build our visualization. In this data, we are looking at the sample superstore data. Let's take a look at the sales by state. So here we already have selected state. Now let's put sales into the details. So by doing that, we see that the sales is on size and we have a simple point map where the circle represents the size of the sales by state. So next, if we go over here and we click on this, what we see now is a field map. And on the marks card here, we see that this is, has become a colored mark. So if we click on this and change to size, we have our point map again. So over here with the field map, sales size is represented by the colors. In this case, the lightest color represents the smaller sales amount and the darker color represents the larger sales amount. So now let's make this look better. So what we can do is go onto map and click on map layers. So here we can change the style of the map. We can also remove or add more map layer details. We have the like the terrain, we have the coastline. So for now, we actually don't want any of these layer details. We just want to have a simple map chart. So what we can do is actually remove all this. And now we have a vacuum of the states. Let's say we also want to look at more details on the map. So now let's bring in profit into the details. Let's replace the sales amount with profit. And now we have profit on this field map. Let's change this color to something more meaningful. So let's go with a diverging color. And we have two colors here. change the center to zero. So what we are doing here is that red will be represented as negative profit and green will be the positive profit. Now let's put back the sales amount here. So let's make a duplicate of the map and change this to sales. And we have this back as a point map. So we can then combine this two map by using the dual axis. 
Let's change this color to black and maybe increase the size. So here what we have is two information on the same visualization. We have the profit of the states which are represented by the red or green color and also the size of the sales represented by the size of the circle over here. We can also add more details to the map by dragging the sales amount on the label and we can also have the state name on the map. So here we can see at a glance which states are in the red zone which are making negative profits and also see which states makes the most sales. We can see the circles, some of the larger circles coming from New York, California and Texas.